Breakers on console or PC. Uh, What's going on, guys? The Iron Can here, Bad Guys Roller Breakers Season 5 video. Uh, today, I'm going to be watching myself to boost my ego. Uh, no. So, uh, <laughs> basically, uh, I had a pretty good uh, Goku Black game. Let me lower myself just a little bit here just so we can hear myself talk. But essentially, I had a very uh, close Goku Black game. And uh, I don't know if this was a full pre-made, but regardless, uh, this was a group of very competent players, whether they were playing together or not. Uh, very, very competent group of players here. And this was a game where I was kind of just like really focused up. I didn't really talk that much. I probably would have just uploaded with no uh, like kind of commentary. Would have just uploaded it raw. But like I was just really gaming this match. So I feel like it would be better for me to kind of like talk over it and describe some of the actions that I did. Uh, why I did what I did and what uh, some of the good plays that the survivors made in this match as well. So in this match, uh, I got key rushed fairly early. I think, I mean, I would consider anything a key rush at this point, just like anything faster than getting, you know, all the SDM out before five minutes into the game, right? So I think I do a fairly good job of uh, getting civs pretty fast here. Um, but a lot of the players uh, do a very good job of distracting me, uh, dodging me and whatnot. Uh, and I, that definitely made this game as close as it got. But in this match, I was kind of forced to... Uh, oh, wow, I moved myself over here. Uh, I'm going to move myself over here, I guess. Just because it's a little, a little awkward. So, uh, you don't have to worry about my health bar for now, anyway. But um, this match, um, I really wasn't even able to get my level 3, even if I wanted to. But this is a, definitely a perfect example of why I think doing this level 2 strategy is pre-made proof or like really good player proof now again i'm not entirely sure if this was a pre-made but uh this definitely was a very good group of competent players like this poor player i think they were only level three uh not three uh level 33 and they were absolutely playing like a champ so again when people say like levels mean a lot in this game it really doesn't it's really just based on skill i've played with players that are like 250 plus 200 plus that actually sell and throw games and players that are less than 100 sometimes play better than them right so so there, I was hoping that the uh, Super on Zamasu would have had a bigger uh, AoE than it did. Unfortunately, it did not. But, uh, you know, that Super, I would say, is the better one of the two in terms of its tracking. So here I go for the Area Destruction on D. They do plant it, which is a very good move. Some people don't know. Um, you can actually still plant the key while it's being destroyed. This is a very good way to actually kind of cuck uh, the Raider and trick them. Um, I would, I was thinking of destroying area B, but I knew that they wouldn't be able to plant it since I was just there. So I was hoping I could do, uh, D, get it, and then maybe do B later, but unfortunately they planted, uh, D before I could destroy it. So they're going to keep that 20% bonus, assuming they plant the rest of these keys here. So at this point, um, I don't have any charge towards my level three. I get a little bit of charge here. If you guys are curious about the progress, I'll go invisible for a sec. So I have a long ways to go for my level 3, but uh, the way this is looking, I probably just want to stay in my level 2, and that's what I end up doing in this game. Uh, I try to take out a couple soda machines just because they have the full team up. Not a single person has been executed on the team, meaning I would have to at least take out every player on this team uh, twice, which is kind of crappy. And they, just like that, all they need to plant is this B key. And this is, uh, again, a perfect example of a player distracting me. I should have just kind of like stayed on B. I knew where B needed to be planted. I ran into this player, chased them around for a little bit, and that literally gave the team enough time to uh, plant the last remaining key with Time Patroller's duty. So uh, I got very distracted here, dude, <laughs> uh, which was bad on me. I should have just kind of stayed at this key, and this guy uh, just barely caught him. Popped the super here. That landing was kind of stupid. Uh, I'm not going to lie. That probably should not have worked the way it did, and there I forgot to cancel my melee. And uh, here I made a good play. Um, I feel like if I was a little stupider there, I could have chased down that player. But I knew with seven players alive, um, you know, the SDM at 20%, I got to be playing SDM immediately. So there, uh, if you don't know, I did a vanishing kick. Oops, I'm lowering the volume a little bit. I'll turn it up a tad. So here, um, actually, did I miss it? Oh, wow, yeah, there's a lot going on right now. I think I skipped too far ahead. Yeah, so I get this level three. Hit him with a melee. That guy goes for a melee. Hit him with a vanishing kick. So some people um, are a little upset with Goku Black's uh, vanish counters or just vanish kicks in general. They say that the end lag on it is fairly long. And I'm not going to lie. I kind of noticed that here before I could like move again. There, uh, I'm getting stunned a lot here. These guys are running a lot of stuns on this team. So uh, they are picking up my damage, but I'm not taking too, too much damage. I'm not using my break strike yet. I feel like some people 
Uh, when they get stunned, they their you know instant uh, you know thought is to pop their break strike. You really want to be saving that break strike to avoid taking damage. As you saw there, I could have took a lot of damage with a times ten Kaioken God Kamameha. So using the break strike there was the most optimal way. Fortunately, missed the Kamameha on that guy. I almost get poor smacked. That guy hits me with a vanish counter or just a vanish kick. Did I not hit that poor? Oh, they had a Mortal Champion. Okay. Damn, they got a Mortal Champ for being only level 33. Nice. Yeah, a lot of people that missed out on Mortal Champion are definitely uh, definitely feeling it here. So I down one player out of all that. I go for this guy. I go for the melee. Melee is going to be uh, the best way to uh, take out changes really fast. I think I get this guy with a Kamameha. Uh, actually, I'm not sure if I did. Unless the oh, no, I did. I got him. Yeah, so uh, Goku Black's alt fire is pretty decent. Ooh, this guy hits me with a fake death vanish kick combo. Very nice. He has a Masu God uh, pieced up there as well. And uh, the Super Time Machine is almost at 50%. And my health is getting low, dude. Uh, I'm at like three quarters uh, health left. So got the level three. The level threes are going to be my biggest priority right now. Um, little interesting business there. I just opted the Super, but he had a Mortal Champion anyway. So at this point, I'm like, all right, all right. Uh, let me stop playing around. I really need to start clicking on this STM. I feel like that was a little bit of a waste on that guy's angry shout. Used that pretty preemptive, uh, preemptively. Taking a good bit of damage here. But at this point, uh, if I take out this level 3, they're not really going to be able to get that many dragon changes. And that's because I'm level 2. They have the full team alive. So these supplies are probably each going to have like 2 sodas and a couple cubes. So not too many dragon changes are going to be able to come back after this. So after, I think, this next wave of transfers, if I can live, there really isn't going to be that much left to deal with, and that's because of this level 2 strat. So I am getting, I am starting to get a little bit low, so I do have to be careful. And I'm getting stunned here. I, could lose this one. I think these guys should have tried to go for, like, that player right there. I will say, I, I think they should have opted for um, maybe doing, like, one key blast into a super instead of doing the two key blasts into a super because... Like, landing supers right now would be de uh, deadly, considering my health pool right now. At this point, I just keep dodging as much as I can. Land my active skill there. That guy misses. Yeah, like, I'm telling you, any super attacks land on me would be absolutely deadly. So, two, three players are down right now. So, now I'm pretty freed up to uh, work on the STM. STM is at 75% now, so I really uh, can't screw around, especially considering the fact I didn't even get the 25 or 75% uh, destruction here. So here, I'm kind of just dancing with uh, the transfer here. I get them. Then they, uh, I think they instant rise. Rising somebody here, I, I feel like is definitely very risky. I would not have tried it, and that person got down. So at this point, there's only two people up. So I just uh I just stay on the STM here. Get actually I didn't even get the 25. Yeah, that see the vanish kick on Goku Black, there is a lot of end lag. So he vanish kicks me upward. Probably should just went for a melee combo, honestly, but maybe he was worried about the break strike that I had. So Masu's finally helping out a little bit, which is nice. Yeah, this is a close one, dude. That poor shoots a Gallic gun, and like I said, they're out of resources. Uh, too many people are down. They're out of resources, like, yeah, and I pick up the dub move, here. Bro. So this was a very, very crazy close game. I think these survivors played it's really not, well. Like, I think they played game. really well. Uh, I think the only thing they could have done better during the uh, defense phase was definitely landing more super attacks, landing more melee combos. I think a little too much uh, key blasting was being done by the survivors here. Because, again, if you look at my health pool, I got pretty low, dude. I got pretty low. Like, like a good four to five super attacks, and I would have been done skis, so... Um, I think these guys played really well. I think, again, the only place they could have played slightly better was landing supers and maybe uh, some melee attacks. But um, uh, GG's. Uh, this par, also. I got to give a big round of applause to this uh, par. They were breaking my ankles like throughout this entire game. Um, and they were only level 3. They played very, very, uh, very well. They slipped through my fingers there. Uh, and this guy was able to escape on the ETM here as well. So I think I had two players escape on me. But yeah, this is pretty much the match. But uh, again, guys, this is just... Uh, Proof in the pudding here that uh, the level 2 strategy is kind of what is Goku Black's best anti-key rushing mechanic. Now, I will say uh, it is a little lame and boring. 
Uh, not only for the Raider side, but definitely for the Survivor side, just because nobody wants to fight like a level two during the SDM phase, like when you could get super transfers out at later phases. I, I doubt most people would want to play base black. They want to play like Rose and Fuse Amasu and like Corrupted and stuff like that, right? So I do think it is kind of a shame the way Goku Black kind of works, where uh, you're almost uh, unintentionally incentivized to play around uh, your level two, just because if I want level three here, dude, they would have had. Dude, literally, literally, if I went level three here, I would have lost. 100%. 100%, I would have lost because they would have had trunks. They would have got better supplies. Like, it got, it got this close with this strategy, by the way. And I think I played pretty good, but I didn't play, like, perfectly here, right? But anyways, guys, that's this video. This was the closest Goku Black game I had so far in Breakers. Um, I haven't played Goku Black all that much. It's probably, like, my sixth or seventh game. I really have not been playing Goku Black that much. Like, there's been so much Survivor stuff to cover this season in particular. I really haven't had that much time to play Black. But uh, that being said, boys, that's pretty much going to be the video. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment down below how you feel about Goku Black, how you feel about this match, how the Survivors played, how I played, how you feel about um, Goku Black working with the Super Transfers. Do you think the Super Transfers should spawn every level uh, to onwards, similar to Broly? Uh, or do you think it's fine the way it is? Personally, I think they need to do something, man, just because... I feel like this level 2 business is becoming a little too frequent, and I just don't think it's very fun, and I think it's not really that fun for both sides. I feel like they might need to slightly adjust the supplies for level 2 of Goku Black, considering the fact that there's technically two Raiders out, being Zamasu and Goku Black, right? Because I've had matches where Zamasu has just completely wiped out my team, and with other Raiders, we would have been able to stall out, but because, you know, Goku Black has Zamasu helping him out, you know, we only have so many resources and so many, like, hits that we can take. So, uh, with that being said, that's going to be the video. Uh, again, leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment down, below, uh, comment down below your thoughts. And subscribe to the Arcane channel for more videos like these. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Take care. Stay safe. Have fun. Peace out, bro.